The investment case for space has become white hot, with about a dozen space companies going public this year alone. I'm here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, where most companies are focused on building rockets or satellites for uses in orbit for networks of communications, imagery, or other services. But there's another nascent sector in the industry that a handful of companies are betting will be a lucrative opportunity, manufacturing in space. While some may envision space factories as from science fiction, these companies are working on building products and bringing them back here on Earth, launching materials to orbit, creating them into a product, and returning them to the surface may seem like a high-risk, intensive, and costly process. And in many ways, it still is. But the cost of rocket launches has steadily come down to thanks to new competition in the industry. And for certain products, it would be very lucrative. We're talking about fiber optic cables, pharmaceuticals, synthetic human organs, metal alloys, and even spacecraft themselves. One company, known previously as Made in Space before being acquired by public company Redwire, has already been testing an industrial 3D printer. The company demonstrated 3D printing in zero gravity with a mission to the International Space Station in 2016 and is developing its larger Argonaut vehicle that won a NASA contract in 2019 to further test this capability next year with a spacecraft that would build, assemble, and deploy its own solar array after reaching orbit. A second company called FOMS, or Fiber Optic Manufacturing in Space, is specifically focused on producing high-quality fiber in orbit. The company in 2019 sent its space form platform to the ISS and successfully produced this specialty fiber known as ZBLAN and returned it to Earth, which NASA then inspected. Fiber optic cable created in space is highly valuable to its lower imperfections, with the ISS National Laboratory saying that ZBLAN fiber can perform up to 100 times more efficiently for data transmission than the cables currently used for telecommunications. Space Tango is another company that won a NASA contract for in-space manufacturing, with the company looking at regenerative medicines that can be created in orbit. One such application would be creating artificial retinas to combat regenerative disease through surgical implants. The microgravity environment allows for a more uniform creation of the thin films in our retina, creating a higher quality implant than can be made on Earth. Space Tango also recently announced a partnership with Sierra Space, the subsidiary of aerospace company Sierra Nevada Corporation, to further explore and collaborate on biotechnology manufacturing in space. A startup called Varda, founded less than a year ago, has already raised more than $50 million so far and is planning to launch its first space factory mission in early 2023. While other companies have launched tests to the ISS, Varda, with help from Rocket Lab, another space industry leader, is creating a three-piece spacecraft that aims to create and then bring back about 220 pounds of material manufactured in space. While much of the space industry has rapidly matured over the past decade, it's still early days for the sector of space manufacturing. It may yet be another five to 10 years before products made in orbit are in regular use, but NASA's focus on the opportunity, with work underway by multiple companies, means that bringing back space-made materials could soon be a reality. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.